new museum dedicated to the history of the Second World War Air Base at Biggin Hill in Kent is opening its doors today. The multi-million pound museum tells the story of the hundreds of RAF pilots who died fighting the Luftwaffe from the base which Churchill called his strongest link during the Battle of Britain. Our correspondent Duncan Kennedy is there for us now. Duncan. Well, Rita, this Spitfire may be covered in snow here today, but in the summer of 1940, it was hot and humid here. But no one was enjoying this place at Biggin Hill because it was at the centre of the Battle of Britain. And yet, remarkably, until now, there's never been a museum dedicated to those who served here until now. If a battle can have a home, then Biggin Hill was the home to the most decisive of battles. To render what we owe to the few who saved the many. In 1940, this grass airfield was the front line against the Germans. Britain's future lay in the hands of RAF pilots, like the late Geoffrey Wellham. But I always felt that if I could see my antagonist, I could outfly him in a Spitfire. And that was the big thing. See him, outfly him, fight him. Geoffrey's story is is now told here, the first museum ever built to remember this nation-saving airbase. Elspeth Henderson's memory is also alive. She took shelter under a table during one German attack. The bomb hit the tape into room. It bounced off the tape into itself before exploding. The blast shattered the glass and the windows and the, and the uh, plotting table before setting the building on fire. The room was described as being a complete shambles. But your mum was alive? She was alive, yes. Elspeth was later awarded the Military Medal. Then there's Geoffrey Greensmith. Where did the bombs fall here at Big and Hill? He lived on the base as a seven-year-old and saw a wounded German airman land by parachute. He called me over and he had photographs of his two children. One was the same age as me. Uh, that upset me. Yeah, it still does. But Biggin Hill wasn't just a place about aircraft and bombs. Through these letters, it also became the location for romance and love. Lillian Simpson and Keith Ogilvy became sweethearts. But when he was shot down and taken prisoner, love only became possible through letters. Dear Lillian, your turn to be surprised now. I really cannot delay any longer in thanking you for dropping those cheeky lines to a deadbeat POW. Keith later took part in the great escape from Stalag Luft III and lived, though his love for Lillian did not endure. We don't talk in the language of victor and villain. We are sharing people's real human experiences and hopefully inspiring our visitors by showcasing the very best of human spirit. 454 pilots from Biggin Hill died in a place that became a byword for wartime defiance. And now a museum chronicles the airfield that saved Britain. Well, there is a debate going on about whether the RAF should remember its wartime actions. Just last week, the Bomber Command Memorial was daubed with paint in London. But certainly here at Biggin Hill, they say those who sacrifice everything in war should be remembered.